Hi there everybody, this is Mrs. Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 9.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. 9.6 is adding fractions that have tenths and hundredths, so adding them together. Now, before we even get started, we know that we cannot add any fractions unless they have the same number on the bottom. So what we're going to have to do in this lesson, since we're doing tenths and one hundredths, they're wanting to, they're wanting us to do something like this: six tenths plus seven one hundredths. Well, you can't just go ahead and add this six and the seven because it doesn't have the same denominator. We have to change it to have the same denominator. So I already taught you the trick earlier in the chapter that if you're changing tenths to one hundredths, all you're doing is adding a zero. So you do that to the top also, and then you can add. So it's now reads 60 one hundredths plus 7 one hundredths, which is 67 one hundredths. Okay, so that was just a quick overview to let you know that when we're learning how to add fractions, you have to make sure that they have the same denominator before you add them. So here's our problem. The fourth grade classes are painting designs on tile squares to make a mural. Miss Kirk's class painted three tenths of the mural. Mr. Becker, Mr. Becker's class painted 21 one hundredths of the mural. So what part of the mural is painted? So we know we're going to have to add these together, but they don't have the same denominator. It tells us you know how to add fractions with parts that are the same size. So you're going to have to use that equivalent fraction trick in order to change them to fractions with parts that are the same size. So in order to find 3 tenths plus 21 one hundredths, 3 tenths plus 21 one hundredths, I'm going to have to change this into hundredths. I do that by, you can just simply add a zero to the top and the bottom, or the other way that we used to do it is just multiply by 10. You'll get the same answer, 30 one hundredths. Okay, so now we have 30 one hundredths plus 21 one hundredths. That equals 51 one hundredths. So 51 one hundredths of the mural has been painted. Okay, so we had to change this into an equivalent fraction with 100 on the bottom. So we're going to try this one down here. 4 one hundredths plus 1 tenth. We cannot do that because they do not have the same number on the bottom. We're going to change this tenths into hundredths. I can do that easily by just adding a zero to both. So now... I have four hundredths plus ten hundredths, which equals fourteen one hundredths. So to fill in our little chart over here, four one hundredths plus ten one hundredths equals fourteen one hundredths. Okay. So now that we've learned how to add fractions, we're going to practice adding decimals. So Sean lives five tenths of a mile from the store. The store is 25 hundredths mile from his grandmother's house. Sean is going to walk to the store and then to his grandmother's house. How far will he walk? So they want us to add five tenths and 25 one hundredths and find out how far he's going to walk. The way that I like to do it is different than this right here. I just like to line them up. You have to make sure your decimals are right on top of each other and just add. So there's nothing here, so I can put a zero there. Zero plus five is five. Five plus two is seven. My decimal stays in the same spot, and 0 plus 0 is 0. So, he walks 75 hundredths of a mile. Okay, that's, my, that's the easy way that I think is the easiest way to do it. Here, they're having you change them into fractions first and then add, because we know how to add fractions. 
So they change five tenths into five tenths and twenty five hundredths into twenty five hundredths. So we're going to do the problem five tenths plus twenty five hundredths. We know that we can't add that until we change this five tenths into hundredths. So we do that by just adding an extra zero onto the back. So we get 50 one hundredths. This step right here is the old way where we'd multiply it by 10, but we found out a new trick. You just add a zero. Okay, so 50 one hundredths plus 25 one hundredths equals 75 one hundredths and then they take that 75 one hundredths and they change it into a decimal zero ones 75 ending in the hundredths place so 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths of a mile same thing that we got up here just they went about it a different way. They changed those decimals to fractions first before they added them, and then they changed their fraction back into a decimal for the answer. Okay, so we're going to find, now this is money, we're gonna find 25 cents plus 40 cents. So I'm gonna do it my way that I like up here where I just line up the decimals. 0.25 plus 0.25. 40. Line them up and add them. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. Decimal stays in the same spot. 0 plus 0 is 0. So 65 cents, I make sure that I put my dollar sign in front of my answer. Okay, so this is how you add fractions and decimals. If you are in my class, you should have been filling out 365 and 366. The password for this lesson is camera. Write that in your planner so your teacher knows that you watched the video. And if you have any questions, leave me a message. Thanks.